So welcome to Empower In. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas, and I have a really quick and simple, kind of sort of skills video for you. It's not really a skill, um, not really like a nursing skill, but it's something that we have to do as nurses. And um, I thought that it would be fun for me to show you, and I have a little trick for you to remember it as well. Basically, when you work on a telemetry floor or a med surge tally floor or an ICU, you basically have to put um, leads to monitor the patient's cardiac rhythm. And what these are basically um, the five points and they measure, they measure certain electrical activity in the heart. But you have to put the leads in the proper placement and you also have to make sure they stay on. Now what happens is a lot of times if you have patients that are out moving around, they'll come off or if you have somebody that's really hairy or somebody that's pretty sweaty, they can get disconnected as well and that will interfere with the reading. And these readings can be, um, sometimes we have a telemetry technician and if the lead comes off then the telemetry technician cannot see the reading. And so we get calls all the time, will you place the leads back on? And um, it can get, I won't, you know, be totally, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you, it can be a little bit annoying because all day every day you're getting these calls. So as a nursing student, if you know how to do this, then you can tell the nurse. And um, don't worry, there's not much you can do wrong because if it's on wrong, then you won't get a reading or the reading won't make sense. So let me just get right into it and I'll show you. Okay guys, so this is, these are leads for a five lead ECG monitor. And basically it's always going to be the same colors. I'm pretty sure this is universal, especially in the United States, but you have white, green, brown, red, and black. And basically they always go in the same spot, which makes it super easy. Now these particular ones, you have to add the um, sticky, the monitor um, sticky thing first. Be um, but there's some where you can like attach them like this and they just attach to this little ends right here and I like those a little bit better because they're a little bit easier to retouch but these we have to put on first so I'm just going to go ahead and put these on now this is not really considered a nursing procedure but at the same time, you're going to get all nice and close to the patient. So if I were you, I would put on some gloves and wash your hands first. So I'm going to show you a really quick and simple, easy way to always remember exactly where these go. And I always do it in that order, and that way I never forget. But it is this. The white clouds go on the right upper chest area. And then over green grass. So the green one goes right over here in this right lower chest area. The next thing I say to myself is black smoke, which goes right up here into the left upper chest area over red fire, which is right about here. And then the last one I always put on is the brown, which is, I refer to it as chocolate lights close to the heart. Okay, so if you remember that little phrase, white clouds over green grass, black smoke over red fire, and chocolate lights close to the heart, then you should always get it right. Like I said, if it's not on correctly, then the reading will not be correct. It will show maybe like a squiggly rhythm, which isn't a normal rhythm that anybody can have. Um, another thing that I've noticed is that for some reason, if this green one does get disconnected, you will not get a reading at all. So if you happen to get a call from the telemetry technician and they say, you know, your patient's completely off the monitor, that's the first place that I look because it's probably this one right here. Because even if this one, this one, this one, or this one get disconnected, we seem to still be able to keep the rhythm. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see next. And I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye!